Hello, welcome to my channel, Fresh Life. Today I want to talk about how to clean out your closet. So I know, you know, the holiday is coming and we have some free time on our hand. So I want to see how can we help you to clean out the closet. So some people, you know, have different ideas of building their capsule wardrobe. People may want to have a certain pieces in the mind. For example, some people say, I want to maybe keep it 20 pieces only in my closet. But I think for me, it's a little bit difficult uh, to just keep those many, you know, the certain pieces in my closet. What I want to really to do is to, um, to keep the one, the clothing I really love. And every time I look at it, it's my favorite. I love it. So it's a, first step is you want to look at what you have in your closet and one, what want you to keep and what you want to get rid of it. Because we have a different stage in our lives. We are younger, we're getting older, we gain weight, we lose weight. And the fashion also changing from time to time. So we need to evolve, we need to update it all the time. So, but it could be intimidating, right? Because when you look at your closet, you don't know where to start it with. How do I begin? It is very uh, intimidating process. So um, first I think we can, you know, break up a few steps. First, you want to know what is your goal for doing this process, right? Like I mentioned before, people we really want to maybe just keep certain like number of pieces of shoes, and uh, you know jackets and shirts things like that but for me my goal is really to keep the favorite piece from each category so that's very very important you know sometimes you get stuck you don't know what to do what how to begin with so here's the, the tip i think you should uh, really think about it is get a friend or your husband to help you to go through this process. For example, I ask my husband to help me. He's really nice and kind enough to help me to go through this process. A second is really take a, a section by a section because if you just want to think in the entire closet, that's very overwhelming, right? So by taking a section by section, you know, each day you do a little bit, that really helps you to conquer the task. For example, for me, you know, I will start with my shoe section. I just look at my shoes, different category of shoes, so I can decide it. Is this pair of shoes I still love? Is it my favorite? So after you do that, you feel like, okay, I keep all my favorite shoes. Every time I look at my closet, I love it. I'm gonna wear this, I'm gonna wear that for travel, for fun, for, you know, hanging out. So they're, they're just joy of it, right? And the second is, um, you, you should give yourself some time to think of the pieces you want to get rid of. So what you can do is put those pieces in a different closet. So give you a week or two maybe thinking through it because sometimes maybe some pieces you get rid of and you regret, you say, oh, I should keep that. So give you some time to thinking through it. And lastly, also the best way I want to share to get rid of stuff, you don't want to keep them, right? There are basically a few categories. You can donate to a Goodwill uh, or, you know, um, some charities. And you can give some pieces to your friends and family members. You think maybe they want it. And the third one is you can sell them, use an online web, uh, an app to sell them, right? A few of them I really like to use is um, you know, eBay and uh, Real Real, uh, Poshmark, also the offered up. So each one of them has a pros and cons, right? So Real Real, obviously, they only take kind of the brand name designer things, um, clothing or shoes or bags. Um, so if you have that perfect, you can schedule them with them. They can come to your house and to uh, list the item for you. 
or you can use also eBay. eBay is, uh, one thing about eBay is like shipping can be a little bit tricky. You have to know how. Next one is the, uh, the eBay. eBay, you have to be careful because sometimes the shipping can be tricky. Uh, you have to know how much you pay for the shipping. And then I use a lot is Poshmark. Poshmark is pretty easy. You just take pictures, list it, and then, you know, the shipping is already uh, created a prepaid pre label for you, so you don't have to think about it. And then the offered up. Offered up is more a use for the local people, but with this pandemic, uh, pandemic uh, situation now, I don't want to meet people in person, so I don't use that much. So uh, there are some tips uh, when you go through this process, right? First, you should take pictures before and after. So it's very rewarding when you clean out a closet. You feel life is in order and you are just feel released and feel good. And second is also choose who is going to help you should have the same goal in mind, right? So for example, I have choose my husband before. Uh, I want to just keep the favorite stuff, but he is like such a nice person and he is always say, oh, this piece look cute and this piece still good. But he has to have the same goal as I have, is that I only want to keep my favorite stuff, not something I still look good at it, right? And also, um, uh, you should un understand, you should do this process maybe once a year because it's an ongoing process, it's evolving, fashion is changing, your lifestyle is changing. You probably all remember, you know, some pictures you had taken in high school and uh, some clothing or hairstyle you had, you'll say, what I was thinking, that's out of the style for today, right? So you have to be involved. So next, next step, I wanna really just kind of uh, show you what the core pieces, some examples I keep for this in this process. For example, this is like a classic black blazer. So you always wanna keep that because that you can wear this a lot of occasions, were very versatile, never out of the style. So I will keep this one. And also like some uh, skinny, skinny black jeans. That's always in style. You can wear with boots, you can wear with uh, tennis shoes, anything like that. Also a classic white shirt, right? White shirt is very classic and you can wear with jeans underneath your blazer and very, very classic, and uh, you can wear them for a long time. Also, obviously, the, um, the trench coat. Everybody should have a very nice trench coat, which I have this one, Beverly, long time. Never good off style, always durable and travel, uh, and formal and informal, you can wear this. And also the classic, like, fluffy jacket. And this one, Toy Birch, is a red one. It's very, very pretty. And you can wear this for many, many years. For shoes, I just give you some samples. For example, this, uh, um, you know, um, compact boots. It's very in now, it's classic, comfy. And a pair of the white sneakers, casual shoes. And heels, I have two heels actually. The black one, black pump, and then the nude pump. So with those, um, those wardrobes, you can keep use them for a long, long time. All right, if you like my channel, please um, thinking of subscribe it. I like it, I appreciate it, and uh, have a wonderful holiday seasons.